mute, slip, slice, select, zoom, and playback. So there are different tools here. They are very similar to the ones that are in the piano roll, and they work exactly the same here, but with the clips or the patterns here. So let's select a pattern here. I'm just going to select a random pattern like baseline number two, for instance, just to demonstrate how this works. So let's do that. Let's zoom in a bit and uh, let's just put it there. All right. Let's zoom in like that. Okay. So here we have our baseline number two. And because we have our paint tool enabled here, I can just draw out different patterns and clips like this. Just delete them by right clicking the mouse as well. So let's say that I have the draw tool here. I can just put one of these clips and if I left click and hold, it's not actually uh, painting out the patterns here. I'm just going to move them. So if I select one of these, I can just move them like that. So this is very handy to have as well. Then we have our delete tool. So this is basically the same thing as right clicking on the, on the clip like that but you can do that with the left click instead then we have our mute tool so if i click on one of the clips you will see it will get muted if i click it again it will unmute it then we have slip you can see i'm moving the midi data inside of this pattern here we have our slice tool and this is basically how much and where you want to move or cut a pattern. Then we have our select tool here. You can select different clips like this. So let's say that I want to select three. I can just do it like that. Then I can go to the draw tool and move all of these three clips. We have the zoom tool. You can just select what you want to zoom in in like that. You can go even further like this and you can just go to command or control and click to zoom out. Then we have playback. So if you click one of these patterns here, you can just uh, play that pattern. Just like that and to make this a lot easier to do instead of going and clicking here every time you want to let's say you want to do anything it's a lot better to just memorize these different key commands here so as you can see as soon as i hold on one of these tools here you can see the key command for that tool in the info box so you can see for instance the draw tool if i click p i just go to the draw tool if I click B, I will go to the paint tool and so on and so forth. So let's say that I want to, um, let's say I want to select, you can see, you can also see that if I right click and hold, I can do the same thing here. So let's say that I want to select, slice, and then draw. So I have P, C, and E. All right. So first I want to draw. So let's just click on P. And as you can see, nothing is really happening right now. And this is because we have this on and this enabled right now. It's typing keyboard to piano keyboard. So if you have this enabled, every single keystroke here on your keyboard will be an actual, uh, like a MIDI keyboard playing. So you will play if like exactly like if you would be playing on a MIDI keyboard. And this is for all of the different keys you have on your keyboard, on your computer keyboard, you know. So let's disable this for now. And now all of the different key commands that is showing up in the info tool here will work. So P to draw, then we have C to slice, E to select, for instance. So P, now the draw tool is enabled here. Then we have the C, which is our slice tool, and E to select. And you can just, 
uh, work very quickly by memorizing these different key commands here. There are a lot of different things you can do with these clips. So let's say that I want to, let's say, change color on this clip, for, for instance. So as soon as I just click on the left-hand side of the clip, you'll get a pattern clip options window. So as you can see, you can preview this, you can select source pattern, uh, edit pattern, you can rename and color, change color, and so on and so forth. So let's say I want to rename and color just this uh, clip here. So let's say that I want to call it chords alternative because let's say that I uh, changed it up a little bit. So I want to uh, create a different color for this one just so I can see that that this just this clip is a bit different. Uh, so I can do it like that. And now you can see this clip, which is linked to this first one here is um, changing the colors and you can if let's say that i want to do it with just this one and leave this one alone because they are now linked because they are the same pattern i can make it unique so let's say that i do it like this and now you can see it created a new pattern for us which is the same one but this is now not linked with the first one so let's say that i want to rename and color it i can do it with this one and you can see it's doing its own thing right now what you also can do is to put the different pattern clips on whatever uh, track you want here, basically. So uh, it's not locked to the track that you have here. So you can just basically put it wherever you want. Say that I have um, a clip put in. Let's say I have it somewhere around here. The, this side. On a new track like that. And you can see this is named something different and the track is just named track 58 or track 59 in this instance. So what I can do here is to just rename it. I can go to rename color and icon and I can call it uh, chords pattern and I can color it the same as our clip here and that will be fine, you know. But what you can do is to just go and auto name. So now this will be the same name as our clip here, or as our pattern clip. And it will actually do the naming and coloring for us. All of the different tracks here, all the different patterns here are basically um, grouped together. You can see here in the vocal group, kick group, group, which contains a lot of different patterns here. So how do you group a track? It's very easy. Just go to the second track, the second pattern that you want to group with the first pattern. So let's say we have two patterns here. I just go to the second one.